going on underneath all of this. The Democratic Party's most vivid nightmare is that they won't be able to control their own voters, that some rapper will use their talking points from a year ago, that some celebrity will tell black people the vaccine actually makes you impotent. And now it's happened, and it's actually a problem for them because Nicki Minaj's audience doesn't watch Fox. They're not diesel mechanics in rural Georgia. They're the Democratic Party's base. They don't care what NBC News thinks or CNN. They believe Nicki Minaj. So this is a massive threat to the industrial lying machine that controls our national conversation. African Americans already have the lowest vaccination rate of any demographic group in the country. They never tell you that, but it's true. You can look it up. 40% of black Americans have been fully vaccinated. Now they have someone speaking for them. And it's Nicki Minaj. And by the way, she's an actual working class woman of color. She really did grow up in Queens, unlike Sandy Cortez. She did not major in international relations at BU. She didn't even go to college. At 19, she was working at Red Lobster. So the question is, as one working class woman of color to another, is Sandy Cortez supporting Nicki Minaj? Of course she isn't. She's not on the side of people who worked at Red Lobster and actually grew up in Queens. <laughs> she doesn't care if Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend's testicles are enlarged and his fiance left. She has more important people to impress. And last night she did. You know who she doesn't impress? Honestly, is Candace Owens, who's the host of Candace. We're grateful to have her on tonight. Candace Owens, thanks so much for coming on. I love, first of all, I love this story. And I'm not taking a position on, you know, the private parts of Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend in Trinidad. But Nicki, Nicki Minaj is like one of the few people who can speak outside the filter. Twitter didn't even take her tweet down. She's not Alex Berenson. She's a rapper. So it's amazing to see them panic in the face of unfettered speech. Yeah, absolutely. There's two things going on here. First and foremost, Nicki Minaj uh, accidentally stumbled upon uh, the Ministry of Truth. You know, you're not allowed to question anything from the Ministry of Truth. And she's actually showing her fans in real time what we have been saying for a very long time, that there are people that are control what you're allowed to say, what you're not allowed to say. And if you say something that they don't want you to say, they will make a concerted effort to take you down. Now, Nicki Minaj is talking about one person's experience with the vaccine. I, who knows? Uh, Tucker, we could we could both eat peanuts and in a room full of children. We might all be fine and one child might drop dead from anaphylactic right. shock, right? This That's is how right. the world works. We're all different. Our bodies are different. This is no way saying, she never said, don't get the vaccine because of this. She's saying, take your time, learn more. We don't really know a lot right. about this. That's, that, that should be okay. If scientific debate was allowed in, in, in the Ministry of Truth, that would be okay, but it's not allowed, right? And they're actually right. making a very dangerous mistake because people like Nicki Minaj, right? They know that she's not a part of the political class. They know that she's actually a person, as you mentioned before, that has worked hard, has come from nothing. And she is just honestly having a conversation with them like she always does through her music. So they're actually playing a dangerous game that will likely create a more vaccine hesitancy than before because you're taking down someone that they love for no reason. She's not against the vaccine in any other in, in any manner whatsoever. Um, and you know, on the other hand of this, you know, I think that they're exposing themselves to be what they are. Again, the ministry of truth. My total knowledge of Nicki Minaj is right around zero in that range. So, you know, I, I have no idea what Nicki Minaj thinks of anything else. But I, I know when someone's not intimidated, and this woman's not intimidated, and the MSNBC lady is like, uh, shut up and know your place, please. I went to Harvard. I think you worked at Red Lobster. And Nicki Minaj was like, what? <laughs> and went completely crazy on her. And it's just so interesting and heartening to see, it. To, see, right, to see someone who's not afraid in America. There are still a few. I guess it's left to a rapper from Queens, but good for her. Right. It is good for her. And you know what? These are the people, by the way, that when they're running, they go around and they get them to endorse them. Right. They go around to Cardi B. They go around to Nicki Minaj and they try to get them to speak on behalf of them. And Nicki Minaj is not playing that game with them. And now people are seeing in real time what these elitists actually think of them. Look at the way they, right. they spoke down to her. She's exactly. stupid. The headlines were insane. You know, the headlines were like she's so dumb. She thinks that it's going to make your testicles fall off. Whatever they said. Complete lies, by the way. Denigrating her. Denigrating her because at the end of the day, what they actually think the Democrats is that these people are stupid. They like to come around right. every four years for the votes. But at the end of the day, they think Nicki Minaj and all rappers are very stupid. And Nicki Minaj right now is proving them otherwise. She's not afraid. <laughs> no, she's definitely not afraid. She's a savage, actually. <laughs> I'm not on Twitter. I don't even want to get on Twitter. It was just so good. So, I mean, you could actually, and I'm not, you know, it's not even about whether the vaccine works or it's good for you or her cousin's friend's testicles. 
It's about whether you have dominion over your own body, whether you're a free person, whether you're a citizen and a human being. And you got to kind of wonder if people like this standing up might awaken others that, you know, I don't have to be pushed around, actually. Right. And that's what it really comes down to. This is about body autonomy, no matter what side of the aisle you're on. I, I personally believe, from the bottom of my heart, that more people would get the vaccine if they just had an honest conversation. Right. Right. There's that's so much true. gaslighting going on, especially people that have already gotten the vaccine, right? People have gotten the vaccine and said, oh, you know, it made my arm itch. And they're going, you're a liar. Like, it's a Nicki Minaj. You're a liar. That never happened. How dare you say that? These people are on your side, vaccine industry. You're, you're gaslighting people that actually listen to you. Why don't you just have a meaningful conversation and say, you know what? This might be rare. Maybe it did happen, but you're going to be just fine. They won't do that. And that is why people do not trust them at this moment. It's totally true. There are about eight people in the whole country who are against all vaccines. No one's against vaccines. They just don't right. want to be lied to or bullied. They do want to prey on it and make their own decisions. Nicki Minaj is right about that whatever the condition of her cousin's friends. Totally agree. I appreciate your coming on tonight. Candace Owens, thank you. <laughs> thank you.